Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Knitting Pastor Vlogcast. I am Heather, I'm your host, and I want to welcome those of you who are checking this out for the first time. I hope that you enjoy what you see. And for those of you who are coming back, I want to welcome you back. I am Heather, and I am a United Methodist pastor of two small member congregations in rural mid-Michigan. I live in a parsonage near one of those churches with my two children, Abby, who is 14, and my son, Philip, who is 10, and our Rhodesian Ridgeback, Flint. So again, I want to welcome those of you who are, are joining in and watching. Um, if you are turning in for the first time, let me explain a little bit what this is like. This isn't a traditional podcast where I just like sit down once and record and then that's it. Um, this is a, more of a vlog style. I call it a vlogcast where I take shorter videos throughout the course of a week and then I just put them together at the end. Um, I don't have a ton of time for editing, so I find that this works pretty well. These focus mostly on my knitting, but there's also family aspects that come into play um, in my ministry as well. So you get to see those sorts of things on this channel too. Um, I normally would have put up a, pod or a, a vlog last week, I think. Um, but with all of the racial tension that is, is happening and um, all of the protests surrounding, you know, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery, you know, the list goes on and on. I wanted to make space for black voices to be heard, for black makers to be out there and in the forefront. So I haven't been doing a lot on social media other than sharing some of those um those black makers and that's something that i want to continue to do just because i am doing this again doesn't mean that that work is done um it's something that i, I want to continue to do and um i'm not always super active on social media because of the nature of my life i just sometimes don't get a chance to um so if i'm not posting stuff it's not out of neglect per se it's just because i have a lot of other things going on in my life and that's not um high on my priority list. But I have been taking the time personally to listen to Black Voices. Um, I'm working on getting together a small group with my churches that we can start to discuss these things um, and start to work to do our part. And that's something that I plan to continue to do. So if you are watching this and you have not taken any time to look at any uh, Black makers or listen to any Black Voices, then I'm going to ask you to turn this off and go do that. Um, because that's really important that we are doing that right now. Um, if we are white, because we are in the majority, we are the dominant culture, and as a result, our dominant culture has oppressed uh, black people and other people of color, but right now the focus is really on that black community. And so I want to continue to promote those makers as much as I possibly can. Um, so that's going to start to happen, I think, a little bit more in the next couple of weeks. Um, as far as in the knitting community, um, Gigi, uh, you know, bright orange Gigi is a wonderful person to go to and to listen to. That is a great starting point. She's a beautiful woman um, and has really compelling stories. Um, Lolo Bean Yarn Company is another, is a black indie dyer, um, is a great person to support as well. And there's, there's quite a few others. I'm not going to list all of them right now. You can go to my Instagram um, and I have posted some of it there. And there are other people who are also doing a great work to promote those things. So be mindful of that. But let's shift away from that a little bit right now um, and talk about some knitting. So I do kind of go over my knitting progress at the beginning and then at the end of the week I go over it again and we kind of see how things have gone. Um, I have two finished objects this week and if you have been watching this recently you will notice that I am wearing one of them right now. Um, this is the Pebble Tunic by Hohi Loki Tali, and I'm going to stand up so you can see it a little bit better. Um, yeah, so this is the Pebble Tunic by Hohi Loki Tali. It's knit out of DK weight yarn. Um, it has pockets. Um, it's a drop shoulder. And um, it's just like a tunic style meant to have positive ease. Um, and it was, she designed it, I think, with kind of that lightweight, springy, summery sort of, if you need long sleeves to throw it on. Um, so I knit mine out of a cotton linen yarn from Knit Picks, their Cotlin, and the colorway that I used is called Crest. Um, and 
I'm really pleased with it. And today happens to be a perfect day to wear it. It's in the um, mid 60s today. So it was like a perfect day to wear this. I just finished it. It just blocked, finished blocking yesterday. So I have not had it done all that long. Um, and this is my first chance wearing it. So I am pleased with how the knit turned out. I like the way that it fits me. The one thing that I'm not super excited about is the pockets. Um, they are smaller than I thought they were and um, they are a little bit droopy so I may do something to fix that and I may also stitch up the neckline a little bit because it's a little bit wider of a neckline than I typically like to wear so I may decide to stitch this and kind of close it up a little bit um, but I haven't decided yet it's definitely an option that I have I have plenty of yarn to, to do that so I may do those a couple of make those couple of changes um, just to make it a little bit more suitable for me, but I, I am pleased with it. I like how it fits um, It's definitely because it's cotton and linen. It's not super hot um, So it's perfect for uh, a little bit cooler summer days where you don't want to wear wool um, But you do want long sleeves So I'm really pleased with how that turned out So that's my first finished object my second finished object I don't remember if I had cast this on the last time I showed this or not but this is the fourth pattern from Helen Stewart's uh, Handmade Sock Society season three they're the Cirrus socks and I have finished both of them and these are the socks this is the pattern at the top and then it's just a plain stockinette foot um, and the yarn that I used is from Legacy Fiber Arts um, it's their hydrangea colorway and their steel toes base, which is like, I love this color. I, I, I could see myself getting more and knitting a sweater out of this because it's just, it's beautiful. And they do such lovely work, Sue and Chelsea. Um, so yeah, these are finished and I have knit all four of the patterns from the Handmade Sock Society season three. Um, the next one comes out in a couple of weeks, as well as a mystery knit along shawl that she is doing. Um, and I think I am going to partake in that. I did buy some yarn um, from Birch Hollow Yarns, who is another black dyer. Um, and I'm really excited. I haven't gotten the yarn yet. It's a dyed, it's being dyed. It hasn't been dyed yet, so she is dyeing it and sending it this way. Um, so I will definitely show you guys that when that arrives. I'm really excited about getting to try that dyer out. Um, I'm excited about the pattern. I really love Helen Stewart's patterns. Um, I love the way that she writes them. I love how soothing they are. Um, and I think with everything going on in my life, in the world, soothing is <laughs> something that I need. So since I finished this, I've just been working on my second vanilla sock. Um, these are just vanilla socks from knit, with some Knit Picks Felici um, Candy Shop, I believe is the colorway. I have one done already, and I've showed these before, but I haven't really been working on them a whole lot. So I've just been working on these vanilla socks because that's been the right thing for this time, is stuff that has not required a lot of thought. I will probably be casting on something else um, today or tomorrow, I'm not sure what. And I do still have my secret project that I'm working on that I am not showing on here because it is a gift and I don't want to give anything away. So that I am still working on too. Um, yeah. Um, as far as things here in Michigan and the coronavirus pandemic, we have been slowly starting to open things back up. Um, my churches are going to be starting to meet again in person, um, albeit in a different format, um, but we are working in that direction, which is good, um, but it's also a little bit, it's been very stressful um, trying to make those decisions and to put all the proper things in place. Um, and it hasn't necessarily gone smoothly in all cases, so um, that's been pretty difficult. Uh, just to navigate all of that and because I want to make the right choices um, and I don't want to put anybody in danger or at risk so it's weighed on me quite a bit um, I'll be glad when we have some sort of treatment for the coronavirus and a lot of this is 
kind of gone. I'll be really glad when that happens. Um, yeah. So that's all I have for right now. Um, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hi everyone. So it is now Sunday, June 21st, and I am really sorry that this has been really a lame, lame episode, vlog, whatever you want to call it this week. Um, I didn't record a lot because I didn't really do a whole lot that was very interesting, to be perfectly honest with you. My classes for the summer started on Monday, and so that's really been taking up quite a bit of my time. So I haven't done a whole lot besides that and have meetings um, because both of my churches are planning next Sunday to be inside the building in person and there is a lot of preparation that kind of has to happen for that to work and so all of those things have really made for a pretty boring week as far as vlogging content. It also means that I haven't done much knitting either. I showed you at the beginning um, what knitting I had accomplished, but I haven't done much more than that. Um, I did finish my vanilla socks, so these are finished now. Um, these are just a pair of vanilla socks with Knit Picks Felici. Um, the colorway is called Candy Shop, and then I used a contrasting color for the heels, cuffs, and toes. Um, so I finished these, and then I I put a couple of squares in my Cozy Memories blanket, but I hadn't cast on anything new until yesterday. So I will show you that. The other thing that I was working on was my um, my secret project um, that, is for a, that is a gift for someone that I have not shown. I will show it on here um, right before I gift it, just so that I don't want any, I don't want the person that I'm giving it to to watch this and see that and put it all together. Um, so that I did finish and it's a sweater so that was a pretty big accomplishment and you'll under in weeks when I show you this it will all make sense um, but the only other thing is I cast on the fifth pattern of the handmade sock society by Helen Stewart called the vapor socks and this isn't gonna be very interesting either because I've just done the cuff and then like the first two rounds of the pattern. So like I said, there has not been a lot of knitting happening right now. Um, the yarn, this is the yarn that I'm using. I dyed this yarn myself. Um, it turned out a little bit brighter than I originally intended, but I still really like the color. So I'm rolling with it like it is. So that's kind of it for all of my knitting making type stuff. Um, the only sewing that I did was I sewed a face mask for Abby that loops behind her ears. Um, but obviously I can't show you that because she is not here right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really been, it's been a really difficult week, um, really long week, and not the most exciting to kind of show people. So I figured I might as well just wrap it up. Um, I did go to a bot botanical garden on Friday evening with David and I put some footage of that in, but that's about it other than just school stuff. Um, I'm taking two classes this summer. One was supposed to be one that I went to campus for, like I did last year, but my seminary isn't going to hold in-person classes again until 2021. So everything is done, being done in a distance format, including this, um, this class that would normally have been in person is now being done in a distance format. So it's now drug out over the rest of the summer, as well as the other class that I'm taking. So life got a lot busier this week. At least the kids aren't in school anymore, so I don't have to do anything like with them. But especially now as the buildings are starting to reopen back up again, there is that that kind of is coming into play in all of it. So it's been kind of overwhelming. 
and not very interesting to share, which I realize I have said a whole bunch of times. So instead of continuing to ramble, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. If this is the first time, I usually have more than just this, so I apologize for that. I hope you'll give this another chance or go back and watch another episode to get a better idea of what this is actually looking like. But I hope all of you have a good week. Happy Father's Day. It is Father's Day today. Um, and I will talk to you again in a couple of weeks and hopefully have some knitting to show you and more interesting things by way of what we've been getting up to. So until then, happy knitting. Thank you.